It's another Music Gear Monday. Summer is in full swing. Events are happening everywhere. And so this next couple of weeks, I am on the road. So Music Gear Monday is going to be coming to you from the road with kind of road themed episodes. Nobody typically travels with CDJs because they're extremely expensive. And usually festivals, clubs, everywhere else have them backline. So you don't really don't have to travel with them. In my case, I do a lot of private events. I do a lot of community events and a lot of of performing art centers and things like that and a lot of times a lot of these places aren't able to backline my cdjs and a lot of times i'll just have to bring them myself these are my recommendations for traveling with cdjs and there's not a lot of information out there on the internet about traveling with cdjs i found a couple of helpful links i'll throw those in the description below so that you can find them but these are a couple of tips a couple of things i do when traveling with cdjs traveling with the CDJs, not as much of a hassle as the turntables, but still a hassle because nobody's making any kind of cases that either one, are easily able to come on the airplane with you, or two, protective enough to check. I was using a Pelican case that had foam, but all the foam sections kind of got ripped out of it, so it wasn't as protective anymore. And I used to actually carry the two Denon CDJs and my mixer in that Pelican Pelican case and it was under 50 pounds so that's something for you to think about out there if you're looking to stay under that weight limit now with the CDJ 3000s I have two magma bags I have the Pelican case still which I took all of the foam out except for the sidewalls and the two Pelican cases and it's just 50 pounds it's at 50 pounds so no more mixer in the case and actually I regret using that Pelican case to throw my mixer in because one of the last trips we did my mixer got cracked and I'm pretty sure it was at one of the airports and probably through my case so yeah I don't throw the mixer in the Pelican anymore that goes into a backpack which then goes into a carry-on roller and I just I don't trust airport staff with my bags unfortunately because they tend to break things and lose things and to a lot of airlines don't really care but yeah I use you know the magma soft cases I really love Magma as a company. The soft cases are really great. They look good, but uh, one of the biggest drawbacks is the zippers on these things. The zippers snag and get stuck every time I open and close these things and it's so annoying and then also the foam that comes in the magma cases is deformed because the CDJs have a very slinted display that sticks up if you have your CDJ and you have a deck saver on your CDJ which that's what I have I want ultimate protection it's gonna push up into the foam it comes just outside of the actual foam protection so who's to say if it's as protective that way it's basically just pushing the foam up it's not really formed for the CDJ 3000s even though they're selling it as the CDJ 3000s model that they fit they're not made for the CDJ 3000s they just so happen to fit so I'm sure that they saw the opportunity to to sell them that way and they work good enough to get my CDJs from you know point A to point B I wouldn't recommend them by themselves I would say just go with like a SKB or a Pelican case and just protect your CDJs that way the only reason I got them is to so I could put them in my Pelican case so that I can take them on the road. I know a lot of people would be like, why don't you just get the rolling Pelican case that fits a single CDJ and just get two of them. I try to save by using one case and being able to check one case that carries pretty much everything and just take my mixer with me as a carry-on. So I was using a rolling carry-on for the CDJs. I basically would take the foam out of the cases and just put them in this standard roller that you can get at like a Walmart or whatever and I would fit all of the foam inside and I would put foam in between the CDJs and stack them one on another and then I would basically take that on the plane with me mainly for peace of mind you know that wasn't as protective and I still felt a little indifferent doing that so now I'm back to the Pelican case and the magma cases inside the Pelican case so I'm doing that also added another layer of we'll say security 
security by adding a lock and another layer of security by adding air tags the video on air tags a while ago if you don't know what an air tag is basically it's a little bluetooth tag that you put in your personal items or cases or whatever and you're able to track where it is anywhere around the globe through the app the find my app and so i've found that to be helpful to be able to track my stuff and it's just an extra layer of security i feel like that's kind of how i'm packing my cdjs now i think you need a hard case layer on the outside if you're traveling you know very far or you're you know taking your cdjs outside of the crib outside the club having a hard case is key foam any type of foam to you know soften impacts and things like that take vibration away from the actual units that's going to help that's where those magma cases come in also just using those magma cases to take my cdjs you know anywhere around the studio inside the house whatever i gotta do and then your security so having a lock and having those air tags really helps as far as tracking your stuff and keeping your stuff safe so those are my three things hard case soft case security air tags locks all those things help that's what i'm using right now if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments below that's gonna be it for today's music gear monday i hope that helps anybody out there looking for a travel solution for their cdjs shout out to our sponsors crate connect if you haven't checked them out check the link in the description below and that's gonna be it for music gear monday i'm carl crow we'll catch you here next week Peace.